So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this Vroid Studio website, which I will link below. Then you can scroll all the way down and pick the right version to download for you. So then you can go ahead and create a new avatar so you can pick the gender and then you can go into actually creating it. So Vroid Studio makes it incredibly simple. It's basically like Sims for anime characters where you can control a whole bunch of different um, features. I go in depth on a whole bunch of different tips of things that you can do um, in Vroid Studio in this video right here. So make sure you go check that out to learn how you can better create your character. So once you've got your character here, just like I do, you can come over to export. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and export your model. And if you know anything about uploading models already, then you're gonna know that things like material reduction are gonna make your character more optimized. So I recommend clicking two. So then I can go ahead and export and then fill out all of the VRM information. VRM stands for virtual reality model, and that will be .vrm for all of your model files. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is come over to the Unity website and download Unity 2018.4.20F. So to do so, you can download the Unity Hub and then click it right here. Then it will pop up this little window here where you can create projects using the correct VRChat compatible version. Then you can come over here and click the drop down menu on new and then pick the correct version. Then on this window, you can go ahead and name your project and Unity will open up. Now that you made it into Unity, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is import your VRM model. And to do that, you're gonna need a specific importer. So you're gonna come to this booth page and download the VRM converter for VRChat for completely free. And for future reference, scroll down and go ahead and make sure that you are still using Unity 2018.4.20 F1, because if there are updates in the future, this may change. And the other thing you're gonna wanna make sure is if your chat is still using 3.0 avatars. And if so, you're gonna need VRChat SDK 3 specifically. So make sure you download that version of VRChat SDK. Now you're back in Unity and you're gonna wanna drag in the VRChat SDK 3 that we already downloaded. Then click import. Then if everything imported correctly, you're gonna see this pop-up tab and you'll see this new option here that says VRChat SDK where you can open a control panel. And just a quick note is that VRChat must trust you. So if you haven't been playing the game for very long, you might not be able to upload avatars quite yet. So keep playing the game, keep adding people as friends, and eventually this will unlock for you. And the other point is to make sure that you're not using a Steam account. If you want to upload avatars to VRChat, you must use a VRChat account. So if you've seen that four numbers at the end of people's names in VR, or you have the four numbers at the end of your name, that means that you cannot be uploading avatars. Next, you're gonna grab the VRM converter for VRChat that we downloaded before, and it should say plus uni VRM. So the converter itself is going to be what converts it to VRChat and gets everything ready to go. And uni VRM is what imports the model into Unity. So that's the difference between the two. So since we went both, we can just import the single Unity package. So we can exit out of this tab again, and now you see that we have this VRM tab. So we're gonna click on that, Uni VRM, and import. Then after you've imported your model, you can see that they'll show up right down here. And what you're gonna wanna do is grab it and drag it in to the hierarchy. Then the model will show up in your scene here. Next, you're gonna go back to VRM and click duplicate and convert to VR chat, just to make sure that your model is selected in the hierarchy. Next, you'll see that we have a new model, which will be used for VR chat. So then you can go to your SDK, show control panel, go to builder. And here's where you can check some of the options as far as optimization goes, and then you can build and publish for Windows. Then the last step here is to go ahead and name your avatar, and then you can pick if it's private or public, like this little box here, and then you can upload. 
Alrighty, so I successfully made it into VR chat and uh, the model is good to go. So I'll go ahead and flip it around here so that you can see the full body. Um, some of the things are a little janky. The shoulders don't look too great. Um, looks a little bit better in a jacket, but um, for um, other models, they'll sink really, really low. Um, the legs will sometimes act a little wonky and funny, but overall the models look really good. Um, and if you take time to go work out some shaders or other features, um, you can make uh, some really good looking models for a very, very simple. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, and with that out of the way, if you do want to support me or the rest of my videos, then you can do so by going over to my Patreon, or you can go ahead and support me on Twitch, as I will be streaming right after this video goes live. So make sure you catch that, and if you have any more questions, then you can always ask them there. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial today. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members and virtual VIPs, Dutech, Flukulay, Private Donuts, Scoremiler, and Top Waffle.